fraction of more than 200 million. Thousands of Nigerians often migrate in search of better quality of life. This means many of the cases are inspired by the quest for economic opportunities. However, in the last decade, there has been an incredible expansion of illegal migration with a mind-boggling number of fatalities. That is why the World Bank is collaborating with Nigerian officials on how migration can be managed. This issue of migration is a problem for us. Let's first deal with it short term. For those who want to travel, I mean, to those who are just trying to get out at every cost, try and stop them because of the risk they face and the dangers. And so we worked with you know, the parties, the OIM, the immigration authorities, the federal NAP team, and we've made quite a significant progress in stemming the tide of young people and making sure we don't allow those scouts to come and operate in our territory anymore. For the medium to long term, let's reform our educational system and prepare them for, you know, in the medium, in the medium to long term for safe travel. For those who have skills and they want to set out abroad, that's where we are now, reforming our strategy and saying, look, and that's why this report comes in very handy and very useful. The overall objective here is to harness the global benefit of safe migration for national development. The key thing is that, yes, grow the economy, make sure the economy works, make sure jobs are created, but you can't stop migration. Potential. Lack of engagement. But now the engagement is beginning to happen with NITCOM. So we're recording quite a lot of success stories now. I mean, we talked about um, Ogbaga, I can give you 6,000 that have excelled just like him. So we are engaging more with them. President Buhari ensures it meets with them all the time. So we are now have the diaspora policy at the state level. We're encouraging them to engage at the state level. Every state now has a diaspora focal person. The World Bank is urging Nigeria to expand legal migration pathways. The fact that they are doing so tells you something about how what Nigeria needs to do to realize, to help Nigeria's youth, you know, realize their potential at home. But in the meantime, they're speaking with their feet and trekking abroad. And it doesn't have to be that way. Part of this is that migration does offer an opportunity. You know, so it has happened in the past. Migration does offer an opportunity for every country to uh, both to benefit the world at large, but also to, you know, there can be return migration, which then helps build up the ties between the diaspora and home communities can really help home communities develop, expand in so many different ways. But there has to be a process for managing that migration process. Speakers here agree that with more education and awareness, opening new channels for safe, orderly and regular migration can be a win-win scenario for countries. Chinaza Samuel, Arise News.